Now, there seems to be a fashion on these YouTube videos for people featuring themselves rather than the thing they're talking about. Uh, I don't know if it will increase the views, but here we are. This is me uh, with a cup of tea. I drink lots of tea. So whether that helps at all, uh, at least you know the person behind the voice now. I'll put a hat on. This is just to hide my um, lockdown haircut a little bit. I uh, don't know if that will uh, you know, make any difference. People like nice things. Maybe you like a nice hat. But the main thing about this video is I'm talking about, not this one, but this one and the other ones in the series, some of the issues I'm having with a second-hand printer that I'm repairing and getting going. And so I'll move on to the next part of the video where I talk about issues with the extruder motor. Uh, it's no issues with the motor, I don't think. Uh, I believe it's been jammed. And because it's been jammed, it has actually burnt out the driver or part of the driver on the board. That's my assumption. And if you have anything to add to that, any comments, any experience of your own, I really would appreciate you commenting below because I'm just sharing what I found myself with this one. Uh, you may have found something similar, but you may have gone further than me and actually identified what um, the real issue is because I didn't have the machine when it broke. I bought it as a broken machine. Anyway, there we go. I hope the video is useful. I'm going to title it um, Jammed Extruder Motor. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a jammed extruder motor. Uh, this is a Titan extruder from an Ethelson Delta type printer. Uh, and you'll see various bits of video and um, still images. Basically though, what I've done is bought a second hand printer without knowing anything about it or what was wrong with it. The first thing that you'll see is that the hot end looks pretty well abused with lots of hard black plastic. And when I took the, ex well, when I tried, it wasn't, it wasn't turning anyway, but before I did any loading, I decided to have a look at it. And there was a piece of filament jammed into the extruder itself. Now, that's, um, it could easily have just been left there rather than been jammed there. But I do suspect it was jammed now. And that's for a number of reasons which I'm going to go over in the video uh, as I do this test and strip down of this second hand 3D printer. So that's the hot end that was in it. And now we it with a new hot end which I happen to have. Get it in focus. Sorry, there it is. Now, the other thing is that I am using, oops, a new to me piece of software to edit this video once I get it uploaded from my phone, which is a video editor. It's great out there, which is part of photos and is found if you scroll down the programs under V for video editor. So we'll see how that works. So here we are about to start my first project using Video Editor, the new Windows 10 replacement for Windows Movie Maker. There we go. So this is the Titan Extruder and there was a piece of filament. That's it there that was jammed in the extruder so that it was um, not really uh, turning properly. I need to investigate it, see if there's anything else wrong with it, but unfortunately I didn't take a picture of it before releasing the screws and this coming off and the tensioning spring that goes in there uh, shooting out across the room. So I need to retrieve that. It is only just a tensioning spring to tension there, so it shouldn't be difficult to uh, put together. Uh, I need to make sure that, yes, there's a bit of a 
and bearing and things in there that should go on there shouldn't be difficult to put together if i can quickly locate the tensioning spring but take it off take this part off in order to um see if there's anything else needs sorting out now it looks to me as though that set screw there is too proud and is fouling the cogs and i've just checked before i took it apart that the that black cog there actually bears on that part of this one now a solution would be to take that off put it on the other way up which it comes ready assembled I'm going to stop this take a photograph because I wonder if that is a fault in manufacture so it was faulty at manufacture um, it didn't seem to be that the cog was in the wrong position along the shaft and it's not loose on the shaft it's not moved so what I've done is to take this cog off I marked it first so I knew what height it needed to be and put it on the other way up so hopefully that proud screw there or set screw doesn't foul the plastic cog I wonder how the darn thing has ever worked but I'll give it a, the cog a quick clean with with a toothbrush okay I'm going to click load and see what's happening heat completed please load filament to extruder click confirm to start loading well, I plugged the wire directly through from the base. Confirm. And nothing's moving. Blast. That suggests highly unlikely that a stepper motor would fail there's such robust things in this job I'm going to have to take it off and have a look sorry about that well I need to get this built up as quickly as possible I'm pretty disappointed in the hot end that's thick black with burnt filament on there the cooling fan uh, shroud is actually melted and burnt and it looks like the fans on the side are clogged with something no idea what that is that's clogging the cooling fans look at that it's really clogged with something so uh, that's going to be interesting having a a look at that so the first thing that I would suspect that's needed is new heating element new thermistor and new hot end and hope that well the electrics are guaranteed that's the uh, the major plus point and possibly it looks like the total fan ducting from this other side is missing uh, the bit that would go where my thumb is there okay so that's my just quick assessment looking at it not knowing anything about the darn things well nothing much uh, we'll just have to see there might be something needs seriously replacing I did know about the glass plate knew about that so we're all right Now, I'm in the process of replacing the mechanical parts of the hot end. I mean, this bit. That's a new one to put in. 
not quite the same as the one that's come out but it will fit uh, and what I'm noticing is that the plate that holds it in is very uh, damaged and in, in fact it's got you know it's been hacked about quite a bit there's that plate oh, there's all sorts of markings on it but not only that there's an imprint of a screw thread on it there's the imprint of the screw thread right well there's one imprint of a screw thread but there's a really serious imprint of a screw thread let's pull it back here and see if you can see that yep and the screw threads down there that hold this fan on that i've just taken off to clean are protruding well into this chamber and I'm thinking that can't be right. We've used screws. Look, see that, which are too long. 